Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Jennifer Miller, also known as Amethyst Winters. I am a mother, I am an author, and I am a makeup lover, and I'm a mother co-parenting. Um, <coughs> pardon me, coffee. Huh. I'm a mother coffee. <laughs> so, as you saw by today's title, I'm trying to keep my phone on the other one, if you will, so that, um, yep, anyway, <laughs> as you saw by today's title, this is a um, my monthly collaboration with the Faithful Fab 10, and the um, we get together once a month on the first Monday of the month, and we, we do an idea. Somebody has an idea for a makeup theme or something, and we, we do it, and there are 10 of us, and um, nine of us, correction, 10 at heart. But um, the idea came from Teresa, from Teresa and K3, that is her channel. And she suggested um, doing a, um, either a makeup look, just a makeup look and talk about a, um, um, something haunted or something, or not necessarily haunted, it's just like the backstory of something, just a story basically, but kind of fitting in the theme with Halloween, make it kind of scary if you will. Legends, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, urban legends, stuff like that. Now, I do know, I do not know a whole lot of urban legends, um, but in preparation for this, I looked on, you know, basically, I googled, are there any, are there any real life haunted mansions that movies are made off of? Because I love, you know, this stuff. Now, I first one I looked up was Rover's Red. No, they, uh, it is, it is total fabrication. That is freaking phenomenal, but <laughs> it is total fabrication. Now, and also, they'll be probably doing their look while they're, while they're talking about it. Me, I just, because I have trouble doing two things at once, so I decided just to go ahead and put on my makeup and talk about it with a full face makeup. So, if you want to see this look, it is on my interest. It will be on my Instagram tomorrow because this is going up Monday and this is Tuesday's look. No, it is not. So forget I said that. Oh my goodness. This will go up yesterday, which is Sunday. Interesting. <laughs> forget that. <laughs> so what I found though is this, this um, site. It is, we're going to go back real quick. Maybe if the phone lets me. It is screenrant.com. I'll show you this site. And the the title is 10 Real Life Haunted Places That Inspired Movies. And I'm going to click on it and I'm going to tell you about a couple of them that really fascinated me. And I'm going to read them off. Um, the first one, I was so a little bit taken aback. I did not know this, but, and this is red. This is word for word type of thing. And this is how it starts out. Poltergeist from 1982 was loosely placed on what happened to the Herman family in Long Island in 1958. Objects moved on their own. Things flew around the house and everyone from the investigating police and a press photographer to a priest and ministers Witness the unexplained strangeness. Pardon me. The family blamed it on a Native American burial burial site. Sounds familiar. Parentheses. And moved away. In real life, the film seemed to be haunted as well. The actress who played Dana, Dominique Dunn, was strangled by her ex-boyfriend and died days later. The actor who played Henry Kane in the second film, Julian Beck, died of stomach cancer when the film was released. Actor Lou Perryman was attacked in his home and killed by an ex-convict. And the actress who played Carol Ann, Heather Warp, died during an acute bowel obstruction operation when she was just 12. I mean, dang. <laughs> Talk about haunted, do not. This next one I was not familiar with, but then this one. We all, I'm gonna see if I can, um, 
gets you a good shot of it. We've all heard of that mansion. It's the Winchester Mansion, and here's what it says. The Winchester Mystery House is an actual house in San Jose, California, and is like no other. Now, I have not heard of the movie based on this, but we're going gonna to read on. It belonged to Sarah Winchester, and it has 160 rooms, 47 fireplaces, 6 kitchens, and 3 elevators. It is also supposedly haunted. I would love to go visit. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> In 2018, a film titled Winchester was released, and it is focused on the spirits that haunted Sarah. Um, oh, one more. Um, this one we've all heard of, and I think many of us know that supposedly, in quotes, supposedly it is true. The Amityville Horror, love that word, can't say that word for to save my life, <laughs> came out in 1979. It was based on a book from 1977, which was based on events that happened in 1974 and 1975. In November of 1974, Ronald Defoe Jr. killed six of his family members in Amityville, New York. In December of 1975, the Lutz family moved into the house and then left 28 days later due to paranormal phenomena. Um, so there are seven other stories in this website, if you will. And um, I know the next one's based on the Haunted of Connecticut, which um, there is actual the movie. And then there's like the documentary version, which, version, which compla compares the two and pretty close. And um, just many different things that I thought was quite interesting. So, yeah, um, short little thing here. I am an author and I want to make my own haunted house. Um, not in real life, a uh, book. Um, but I want to make it so accurate and so real that people kind of like Rose Red will go to search it out. Um, I have one of mine back in when I was um, growing up, we had a park and down the backbone, down the back, like every park seems to have, is called Devil's Backbone. And it's supposed to lead to a haunted mansion. Now, I'm going to have to do some research before I create this story, but I just, I love lore. I love lore. I love it all. I just got done watching this series. Um, it was one season, but oh, it was so good. It was called, um, and I think if you have Netflix, you've probably heard of it. It's The Haunting of Hill House. And there are two others series kind of in the same vein that the same director, I believe, wrote. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I believe we have to understand evil in order to fight it. So that is why I'm big upon it. And I apologize if I offended anybody with my overenthusiasm of the horror of the world. But yeah, it's just a solid belief in me. And that's what I stand upon. So I'm going to wrap up this video. I will try to remember to link everyone's channel down below. I haven't done it in like five videos since. And I apologize to all the ladies that are part of this group. And they are all wonderful. They all do incredible makeup looks. They all have similar channels in that they, we do we do makeup looks. We do unboxings. We do all sorts of different kinds of things. I just watched Faye's um, highlighter collection video. And... I, she just reminded me I need to finish my collection videos. I kind of stopped about over a year ago and I need to pick it up again. Um, I like doing that because I like informing the public. Uh, I am a public user. I am not a paid promotioner or promotional person that, that you know, is paid $50,000 to say, oh, this is wonderful. And it really sucks. No. Um, and I mean, I have not come upon anything thing recently that has sucked but anyway here or there different video all together just saying that is you know we all do this similar kind of videos and they're all all these ladies are wonderful with wonderful content please 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 go visit them please go visit them and then if you do let them know that i sent you and also if you are coming over from their channel while we're wrapping things up 
Um, hello, my name is Jennifer. I am also known as Amethyst Winters, and that is my channel name because that is my author name. Um, side note, I will have another author author name or pseudonym, if you will. Um, JL Taylor will be my new one. Um, just, just, you know, look into either one of them. I will hopefully be releasing my first full-length novel on October 31st. Looking forward to it. So, y'all have a great day. Y'all have a wonderful weekend and a week and a wonderful afternoon or evening for wherever you are during this day watching this. And I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Y'all have a good one. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.